I was 15 when I first started at Toy Kenning. I made my first England caps about 1971. It's an honour for them to get the cap and, it, and it's an honour for us as a company to make the caps, you know, and, and we always try and do our very best. Hey, I'm Julie. I do the preparation on the caps and uh, do the cutting out and then when it comes back from being made up, then I do the uh, inspection of it and packing it up ready to go to the FA. I feel very proud of them, to be honest. You know, we, we are very proud of them, you know. Because when we see the players coming, especially new players for me, when a new player comes into a team, as they're receiving the first one, I'm very proud to be presenting that. In my opinion, I'm presenting it as a product what I have achieved for them, you know. So yeah, I am quite proud of it. The only part that's not actually done by hand is the process of embroidering the crest onto the front of the cap and the country on the peak. Other than that, everything is done by hand and, and machined by us. This place, the the, um, the asset is the girls, you know, the asset of the workers. Shona started working for me when she was 16 on a YTS um, a few years ago now. Uh, Julie, that you met earlier, has done 40 years here. Rhonda's done more than that. Rhonda's worked here for many years. A lot of the girls have stopped when they've had a family, but they've come back. They're all local. Most of them walk to work and they love what they do. They're, you know, the real long-serving people, and they're good at the jobs. That's the thing, and you know, people still want British quality, so that's what we're trying to achieve. To be honest, I do get quite nostalgic about it. There's just you and your sewing machine and your threads, and basically, you're putting that cap together. And, you know, you, you feel as if you have done something that's completely finished by you. Nobody else has had any part of it. You've physically made that start to finish so that you've done that. That's your achievement. And, and I think that's what I like about it. I like to start a job, go through and finish it. They are built to last. They won't fall apart. They won't disintegrate. They're, they're, they're made exactly the same now as what they were in the early 70s. It comes to me from Rhonda when she's made it up, yeah. And I do a final check, brush it all round, pad it out with some tissue paper inside, and then uh, I'll get the tassel and put present that round the cap and then obviously wrapped in tissue paper again the entire thing and then the, the little label that says who it's for and then straight into the boxes to be sent to the FA. I hope they appreciate it and the fact that so much effort is put into actually making the cap. If they feel as much pleasure from receiving it as we get from actually making them, I think that's, a, you know, a bonus.